next we're going to start number assignment so the topics that we're going to cover they are number assignment settings for accounting documents number assignment settings for reservations number assignment settings for material and physical inventory documents so we'll start with the business example Various documents are created in inventory management like material documents, inventory documents, accounting documents, and reservations. These documents can be identified by their document numbers. In the lecture, in this lecture, we will see how to customize this number assignment. Now we have seen in the previous uh, exercises that whenever you create a document system will be generating a number for example here in this material document system has generated this number okay now this where this number setting is coming from okay same thing if you look here this is a reservation system has created this number for the reservation where it's coming from okay so where this number is coming from for accounting document so all these things we're going to learn in today's class that where this setting is done So first of all, we'll start with number assignment for reservations. So you can use this menu path or directly jump to the transaction OMC2. So if I go to um, OMC2 or go to SPRO, sorry, um, material management. And here I can go to inventory management, number assignment, and for reservation, that's a reservation one. So first click on the intervals. And that's a display interval, that's a change interval, go to change interval. So here it will be showing you the intervals. Okay, what is the interval? So what interval is, like at the moment you can see that I want to use interval number zero one, and that interval will be using a range from 1 to 1999999. And that is a current number being taken. Okay, that's a current number is taken by the used by the system. So that means the next numbers you create a reservation will be 73782, then 783, 784, like that. Okay, so that's the number range that you create here. Okay, so you can create as many number range as you want. For example, if I want to create one here, I can enter say um say plus minus plus icon and then here you can enter say z2 okay and for example i can copy this range here and say that starting with two i'll, I'll be starting with five okay and here up to five nine 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 that means i want to use this number range for my reservation okay now the first point is the whatever we're going to see in today's class please do not change any of the standard setting this is just for your own understanding only and do not change any setting because it can mess up some other things so here i can enter that and also here you can see a check box called external external means if you want to assign a number range manually that means whenever i will create a document whether it's a material document reservation System will not give me a number. I need to enter the number manually, what number I want to do, use, okay? And that number should be within this range only. That That's only when system will accept. And that has never used before, okay? So that's not really practical, okay? So system should be assigning it automatically. That means it, that means it should be internal number range. If you do not check, uh, uh, check uh, sorry, click on this box, it will be internal. If you check this box, this will be external, okay? So obviously we should be using external internal because system should be generating the next 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 number not us giving the number manually so the question is where the external number range will be used when we talk about external number range okay what is the use of external number range so this is something that can be used for example if your sap system if your SAP system is connected to a 
connected to a third party ERP system, for example. And say some documents are created here. Okay, for example, in my scenario, in my company, we're creating some reservations here. Okay, maybe reservation number can be one, two, three, four, for example. Okay, and that reservation will be flown to SAP system, will be replicated to SAP system, and that will reside in SAP system. That means when this reservation will come here, okay, it will replicate to this system. Okay, now when the reservation, the same reservation is adding in SAP system, so we obviously want to have the same number in SAP rather than a different number, right? We want to keep the same number here, same number here. So in this case, when SAP system will accept, will accept the reservation given to it, this one, whatever number is coming to. So for SAP system, is that is that number is internal or external? Okay, I want you to think about it. That when SAP is receiving some number from some other system, then for SAP is internal or external? That whatever is given from here, SAP will accept that. Okay, so the answer will be for SAP it will be external. In that case, this should be checked here. Okay, that means whatever given to SAP is accepting that. So whether it's sending two, three, four, five, five, three, four, six, it's accepting that. So SAP is not generating a number itself. It's just accepting whatever is given. So for SAP is in external. So that's the use of external number range okay so it's easy to create the number range you can create it here whatever you like and if i go back go back again and also if you one more thing i want to show you go to nr status so here you can see that is the last number used that means if you create the next reservation it will be using 737828384 and, and so on and here if you go back number range here the dependent requirement reservation here you can only see one entry and all the other entries are grayed out only one entry you can do that means whatever number range you have given here that is the number range used by the reservation is given here zero one so what is zero one go back zero one is this one that means whenever a reservation is created that will be created within this range okay for example if i open the reservation if I go to MB22, MB22, okay, so 73, you can see 73762. So that's number given by this one. So whenever it was created earlier, 73762 given, then 763, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. So the next number will be given automatically every time by the system. Okay, so 01 is used here, so that's why. 01 is here and that's using this one and we have sent a 01 over there here so that's why it's using 01 so you can change it here but please do not change it that is the reservation okay now we'll talk about the number assignment for accounting documents that means whenever you create the goods issue goods received transfer posting in the MyGo transaction system is generating a, an accounting document so where that number range is coming from if you have ever noticed that sometimes the accounting number start with 4900 sometimes start with 50 okay so let's see this one okay so that's the menu path you can use same menu path and there's the accounting document one okay so if I open this one accounting document, okay. So first of all, let's understand what is document types in accounting. Okay, what is document type? If you remember that in one of the previous topic, I told you like when you create a purchase order, you default is NB, but you have different document types. Okay, for example, frame order, um, STO or the uh, framework order that we created before we also get STOs and all that so that's a document type so like we for purchase order we'll talk about this one in the in the upcoming videos but for now we'll talk about the accounting documents okay so same way we have different accounting documents that means 